this is fast becoming a problem. This is what I've done. This is the T piece that goes on top of the injector. So the fuel line flows through it. Uh, that's just a return. So it's fairly low pressure, but yeah, I've managed to snap it off. Marvellous. I'm going to be driving to um, Warwickshire in this car tomorrow. Well, success of sorts. I've managed to get the little bit out of the pipe. I just drove it out with a screwdriver in the end. So I've got it. Uh, question is, can I glue it back on without blocking the um, flow of diesel? Because um, it does need to flow. That is rather the point. I think I've got to give it a go because at the moment I've got no alternative to make this car work. Can I weld this with a soldering iron? I have no idea if this will work or not. I've never ever tried. Oh, this is the most ridiculous thing I've ever done. I'm trying to use um, a cable tie as a filler rod. It smells absolutely disgusting. I think it might actually be working. Yeah, that's feeling reasonably robust. Blimey. This may be the most hubnut bodge, or the most advanced hubnut bodge there has ever been. It's on a wonk, but I don't really care about that. There we go. Right, we should turn that off and um, try and leave it in a vaguely safe direction. There we go. Right, and there we go. We've got, um, hopefully, a working uh, return pipe connector. It's not my neatest welding, but hopefully it'll work. Well, this might seem like mere seconds for you, but it's been um, hours for me. Uh, I had to go all the way to Aberystwyth to um, acquire some new connectors. Uh, £3.50 or something for this box of four. I'm only going to replace the one I need, but keep the others as spares. I think that's probably sensible. Um, of course, halfway to Aberystwyth, I get a phone call to say you had to pick the youngest up from school because he was unwell. So, um, not seriously, but thank you for asking. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's uh, somehow taken many hours to get here. I hope these are right. I've kind of eyeballed them and they look sort of right-ish. Uh, let's try that in the top of the injector there. Oh yes, I think that'll work. So, um, in fact, I'm going to leave it there. And uh, all I need to do now is remember where I put the old return pipe, which I think I left over here. There we go. So hopefully I can get this connected up. And, uh, and oh, I've pinched another one. Oh, I wonder where that one went. Oh, that's because I took a good one with me so I could eyeball it all the better. So I'm actually missing two pieces of um, return pipe. Excellent. So there's one in place. Uh, that makes two. But all this was started being a problem because this wire is kind of trapped between the PCV body and uh, a stud that comes up to hold the air assembly. Actually, no, it's where the um, injector loom uh, attaches. So, um, all blooming marvellous, really. Uh, now, what did I do with that other piece? Uh, and indeed, the other injector thing. Uh, I think that might be in my pocket, actually. Hoodie pockets are not the easiest to access when you're wearing other items of clothing. There we go. And there's the other good one, including the broken one. So it always helps just to have, so you can eyeball it directly while you're in the shop, I find. So I'll shove that one. And there. That one goes into the top of that injector. And now I just need to find that missing bit of pipe. Uh, I was going to buy some more pipe. I'm starting to think I really should have bought some more pipe. Because now I'm wondering where the heck it is. Hmm. Not here. Great! Oh, this could have been a fun game. It somehow ended up tucked underneath that wing. I would never have found that. Which seems a strange thing to say when you consider I've just found it. There we go. Let's connect that up as well. So that's the fuel lines basically. Any fuel that isn't taken by the injectors is fed into this return pipe and eventually makes its way back to the tank, I think, or at least back to the injector housing. So it can be used uh, as appropriate. Right, let's get this connected up. 
and put these awful, awful screws in. Uh, they've got a really coarse thread on them, so it's not like I can even replace them with anything else. I've got nothing that will fit the bill. It's enough waffle, I'll just keep putting stuff back together again. Right, the two mystery clips were for the um, return pipe um, T connectors. So they're cl all clicked in. Everything is accounted for so far. Uh, I've got the map sensor connected and refitted to the inlet manifold, which is why I'm now uh, getting it all bolted back in. I will nip these up. I'm just running them down at the moment. So the amusing thing is I wasn't gonna do the PCV today because I was a bit worried so it might go horribly wrong. And then it did. So um, that just goes to show, I guess, uh, sometimes I do have a sixth sense for these things. And it's not ideal having um, your classic car um, also as your daily, because you, you end up sort of chasing jobs around a bit. But uh, I'm actually enjoying this. I'm enjoying working on this car. I'm not entirely sure why. I mean, it's all a bit modern for me. I think that nut's had it. I don't think that one's tightened up there either. But there's plenty else holding it on. One more bolt there, a big long bolt I seem to recall. This would seem like the fellow. And uh, is that also the same size? Apparently so. I mean, it's kind of one of the things with cheap motoring. I mean, I've had people send me links to all sorts of cars for sale, but the, the GSA is a very rare thing, as in a car I paid actual money for. And the GSA, oh no. The GSA is hardly um, trouble free. I need to go and find a magnetic pickup tool because that sounded lost. Yes, yeah, so I'll leave you looking at an engine bay while I describe my journey. I, I went home in Foxan for a spot of lunch and to, there it is, I knew it was somewhere, to pick up um, the GSA because I wasn't going to drive Foxan to um, Aberystwyth because she's generally quite dreadful at the moment. Um, Oh, I've still got my light up here. I have. Oh, I left it on, so it's now flat. That's botheration. Uh, so yeah, I, I um, le left Foxan at home and took the GSA, and the GSA started playing up and not running particularly well. So um, that wasn't great either. Um, it just seems to be struggling, feeling a little unhappy on second choke, uh, which is a little worrisome. Uh, ran some Red X and some Super Unleaded through her when I was in Aberystwyth, but uh, no joy as yet. Right, I can't see what's going on down there, and I've flattened that, so that's going to have to be charged. I always seem to be charging something. Uh, I think my jump pack's dead, the old one. Great. Uh, just got a new one, which is on charge at the moment, but maybe we've got enough charge for a torch. So this is... My latest cheap Chinese um, jump pack, uh, 20,000 milliamps, so it's not got the massive cranking power of the old one, but I'm hopeful that for my fleet that won't matter. Get off. Uh, I have just seen the socket. Oh, magnetic pickup tools really are amazing things. I must put that one somewhere safe uh, and uh, go and put this back on charge. But I'm hopeful this will start the Matiz. I doubt it would start this car. Uh, it is tiny. Now, had I tightened that up, um, after all that? Yes. Right, beautiful, so that's the inlet manifold on. I think I'm gonna give her a run at that. Uh, just make sure the oil cap is actually in place. This will probably cause warning lights galore, I imagine. Well, that ran, you saw the puff coming out of the EGR valve here, because it's all open at the moment. Um, so the EGR valve isn't there, so that's what that puff was. But ran, sounded nice and even. That's good. So now we shall refit the um, EGR itself. It's looking considerably better than it did first thing this morning. Um, so now before we put that pipe on, we need to do the four bolts. 
but hold it in place thusly. Now located conveniently right here. That should be everything back um, where it needs to be by the acoustic cover and the air filter housing. So I'm just going to run it again. And we'll just have a check to make sure all is well. Sounds much as it ever did, very taxi-ish. Bravo, right, uh, finish off putting it back together, go for a test drive. Let's take it home, my favourite thrashing track. And what have we got? Still feels a little reluctant to me. Definitely pulling cleanly, but uh, I think there's still more to give there. Yeah? Which makes me wonder whether my sudden power gain the other day was turbo vanes. We had just done a really um, steep hill climb, and well, probably the first time I'd really given it the absolute beans um, and the high revs as well. Which I was hoping to do that along here, but we appear to have got stuck behind a tractor because rural Wales. But certainly, um, you know, we're doing 1100 revs at the moment in third gear at 15 miles an hour and if I put my foot down yeah that's picking up quite nicely it's picking up cleanly that's what it wasn't doing before so um, every little bit I do is hopefully improving it um, the PCV if you ignore those it can cause all manner of issues um, can even blow your turbo to bit so um, it's a, a job that was well worth doing, wh whether or not there's any tangible benefits just from an immediate test drive. But uh, nonetheless, hopefully we're now set fair for tomorrow's mission to drive to Warwickshire, where um, I will be doing some work, at, like I say, at the British Motor Museum. So at least I'm in the right car for, for that. It is a British motor. Yeah, still reluctant to rev there. Feels like it hits a wall at about three and a half thousand revs. Uh, not ideal. Uh, I shall keep thrashing and see if we can improve the situation. But there you go, it was worth doing the work for sure. The, um, those um, EGR valves do get all gunked up, uh, PCVs also get gunked up and just stop really acting like any sort of filter so uh, hopefully that will help the car's longevity because I, I do actually like it and I do want it I do want to keep on driving it oh into some twisties oh yeah I can feel the limits of those um, tires let's get some new ones it is so difficult to get these engines up to temperature I think I'm probably achieving it now uh, with this Italian tuner, but uh, we'll, we'll see how we go. It's not like it's desperately slow, it's not like the turbo isn't doing anything, but um, yeah, performance isn't quite where we want it to be. So we should keep on investigating, and uh, hopefully, you will see further examples of um, improvement to come on this channel. So, thank you very much for watching. Um, don't forget, you can head to the Hubnut store for all manner of lovely goodies and uh, that's at hubnut.org where you can also find support options uh, i look forward to seeing you in the future video farewell